All right. So let's move to impeachment. This is um, this is pretty stunning. You don't see this very often. So Gordon Sondland, he goes in front of the House Intelligence Committee. He gives a private deposition. Well, this is about three weeks ago, right? Gordon Sondland, again, I'll remind you, the hotelier who gave a million dollars to Donald Trump's inauguration committee was named ambassador to the EU then was basically given a sort of ex officio, you're ambassador to Ukraine, you're going to run the shadow group that is going to be running a shadow foreign policy with them. He is the one who was on the uh, text chain with Bill Taylor, and we haven't seen Bill Taylor's deposition. Bill Taylor was the outsider, the career diplomat who was brought in. And... He was like the Serpico in this uh, sort of cabal, if you will. He was the, the, the cop who was like, wait, what? And Bill Taylor is going to, they just announced next Wednesday, a week from today, will be the first public hearing. I'm surprised by that. Maybe they felt that we're just going to go for the we're going to go for the, the the slam dunk, and they're going to have George Kent, who's the deputy secretary of state of uh, 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 he's from the State Department. We'll get into that in a minute. So Sunlin, in his original testimony, gave a lot of like I don't recalls, and no, it wasn't a quid pro quo. Look, when we say quid pro quo, what we're saying is bribery, or in this case, extortion, which is like. Just a variant of a bribe. It is extortion is I will withhold or keep something from you that is already due you unless you give me something that I want. Bribery is give me something that I want and I'll give you something that you want. It's, it, you know, it, extortion is to bribery as like a, uh, a shepherd, uh, uh, you know, a German shepherd is to dog. It's like bribery with more leverage. Yeah, it's just a it's just a form of bribery. And that's relevant because bribery is one of those things explicitly listed as a reason for impeachment in the Constitution. So Sunland gave this testimony, and then they announced we're going to release the testimony tomorrow. And he had his lawyers draft up a new statement. Because initially, Sunlin had been squirrely in denying that he was implementing this direct quid pro quo. Here's his new statement. Also, I I now do recall a conversation on September 1 of 2019 in Warsaw with the uh, presidential aide, the Ukrainian Yermak. And uh, this brief pull aside conversation followed a larger meeting involving the Vice President Pence and President Zelensky, in which Zelensky had raised the issue of suspension of U.S. aid to Ukraine directly with Vice President Pence. After that large meeting, I now recall, sometimes these things are foggy, speaking individually with Mr. Yermak, where I said that resumption of U.S. aid would likely not occur until Ukraine provided the public anti-corruption statement that we had been discussing for many weeks. Now, I want to remind you folks of something. And this was clear a couple of weeks ago. Donald Trump can say that he was worried about corruption all he wants. The only ask they had was not an actual investigation. It was a claim of an investigation. We don't need to see the investigation. We need you to claim that there is an investigation. You can do whatever you want. But we want to pretend that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden did something wrong here. So we need you to claim there's an investigation. We also need you to claim there's an investigation in 2016 because we want to refute the findings that Russia interfered in the election. This is why they have George P. Kent testifying from the State Department. Because when the CIA and other agencies that came out with the declarative statement that Russia interfered in the 2016 election, 
that ended up in the Mueller report, the guy in charge of the CIA was Mike Pompeo, who now at the State Department is essentially opening the door for Bill Barr and Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani to create a fiction about Ukrainian involvement in the 2016 election and their attempts to frame the Russians. And that is why he allowed all the disinformation campaign on the then former ambassador to Ukraine to get her out of the way so that Rudy Giuliani and his drug deal cabal, as John Bolton would say, could go in and do what they were doing. So Sunland now has backed off. He also said, I also recall some question as to whether the public statement could come in the newly appointed Ukrainian prosecutor general rather than from the president directly. Soon thereafter, I came to understand, in fact, that the public statement would need to come directly from the president himself. I believe that that information may have come from Giuliani or Ambassador Volker, who may have discussed it with Giuliani. In other words, Giuliani is running the policy. Rudy Giuliani does not work for the U.S. government. Volker's um, testimony was also uh, released yesterday. But here is what uh, Sunland testified back in the day where he went up to the line of saying it was a quid pro quo. Now he's crossed that line. And a reminder, Sunland is not a deep state apparatchik. He is a hotelier who is a um, good friend of Donald Trump's until yesterday. Sunland had testified originally that Trump and Giuliani's positions, quote, kept getting more insidious. Evolving from a general interest in fighting corruption to an interest in Burisma and finally to an investigation of the Bidens. He noted he was not a lawyer, but he said, quote, he assumed that an effort to pressure Ukraine to do so as pursued by Giuliani with Trump's support would be illegal. Um, that's also problematic because Sunland then knew that what he was doing was wrong. And he knew that what they were doing was wrong. So this is um, a real problem. And all you're going to hear now is like they're going to agree that there was a quid pro quo because they have no other argument. They're going to say that's not that big of a deal. And then they're going to try. They're going to bring Jeff Jordan or Mark Meadows or one of these other idiots onto the Intelligence Committee. And they're going to try and make it about uh, the Bidens. And if they want to do that, I would say. Okay, because at the end of the day, and nothing we saw yesterday um, changes my mind about this. In fact, it reinforces it. The only thing, ultimately, that's going to matter about impeachment is a half a dozen Senate races, maybe seven, maybe more, and maybe... I don't know, a half a dozen or a dozen uh, house races. And in the vast majority of those cases, it's going to be a massive liability for anybody who voted to protect Trump. Because this is not about, impeachment is not about convincing Republicans. And that may happen. There may be some who are just like, he's impeached. Uh, That's gross. I'm not going to do that. But it also may inspire some people to come out and defend him. We have clips of this. But what it's going to do is it's going to make purple state Republicans who don't want to be tied to Donald Trump. They don't want him, his arm around their waist as they go around and campaign. They've got to make a decision to vote. And if they vote for his impeachment, they're going to lose 20 percent of their base. And if they vote against impeachment. They're going to be tied with Donald Trump. They're going to be little Trumps, mini Trumps. That's a real problem for them. With worse delivery of nicknames. And it doesn't matter if Joe Biden, if Mark Meadows gets on there and holds up a, a, you know, 
uh, a machine gun with Joe Biden's fingerprints on it. And he was the one who took out, you know, whatever, uh, half the cabinet of uh, Ukraine so that Hunter Biden could steal the country's goal. It doesn't. And, you know, whatever fiction they're going to create here, it's irrelevant to how those senators vote because they can't say I voted to protect Donald Trump because Hunter Biden's crooked. That's just not going to work. Particularly if Joe Biden's not the nominee. And that's the name of the game here. Everything else is either gravy or window dressing. Those senators are the one who are really scared by all this. Because when Bill Taylor gets out there and says this, and there is no witnesses to refute what he's saying. Um, Donald Trump's got some problems. And, and I have a feeling that could just be the beginning. 